The main challenge is time. We're racing against it. We don't know what's going to happen in the next 5, 10, 15 years. And we really need to get those species in before they become extinct. The Millennium Seed Bank is uh, the seed bank of the Royal Botanic Gardens Q. We are the hub of a global conservation network collecting and conserving seeds of wild plant species. We have already banked about 15% of the world's bankable flora. Uh, we aim by 2020 to collect 25% of the world's flora, which would be 75,000 plant species. It's the biggest conservation project on Earth. The Millennium Seed Bank works with 150 partners worldwide. Each country defines their own priorities for collection. Uh, generally these tend to be the three E species, the economically important, the endangered and endemic species. Endemic, these are those species who occur only in that particular region or area. Unfortunately many plant species are threatened worldwide. Kew Gardens did a study about three years ago and found out that about 20% of all plant species are threatened with extinction within the next 30 or so years. Our partnerships in Africa are also geared up towards making sure we breed the next generation of agriculturalists, of botanists, of taxonomists. And Q is playing a major role in this capacity building, making sure that we're working closely with our partners to spot their gaps, to fill those gaps. We've launched our new MSc programme. We have a number of African colleagues coming over to join us for that MSc programme. The Millennium Seed Bank partnership, at the heart of the partnership, not just about seed collecting, but to make sure that our institutions, our partner institutions, have this capacity to help them get on and do the job. That's what's going to make it sustainable. Every week, almost every day, it's our birthday because we receive um, parcels from our collecting teams across the world. I find it always very interesting just to see from where those seeds arrive. So this is just a random selection of crates here in the dry room. So here, for example, this is uh, from South Republic of South Africa, a batch from Italy. We have Chile here, the Philippines, further down South Africa again. They arrive with courier service. Um, they are then unpacked and checked. Uh, we measure the initial moisture content of the seed. And then they go into the dry room. The seeds stay in this room for a few weeks or months. And that's the best way of slowly drying them to uh, about 6 to 8% absolute moisture content, which is the ideal condition in our experience of then freezing them for long-term storage. Kyo's Millennium Seed Bank is not just a repository of seeds, uh, it's an active seed bank where we actively research our seed accessions and wherever possible we make those seeds available to researchers for, for example, use in forestry, in agriculture, for uh, future crop breeding, um, or to plant those seeds back into the landscape. We make sure that we secure seed collections in seed banks, not just in, the, in Waco's place here at Kew, but also in those seed banks in our African partner countries. Lots of uh, tree species are threatened across Africa, and, uh, and that's because of the forest loss that we, we've uh, been facing over the past 50, 100 years. Um, but also now we're looking very carefully at those relatives of our crop species, a lot of the grasses, a lot of the beans uh, that are, people get a lot of nutrition from and across Africa. We need to make sure that we're conserving those wild relatives from, those, from their wild populations. Crop wild relatives are the wild cousins of our crop groups. They're found in their natural habitats and they contain a, gen a genetic diversity that we don't find in the crops that we can cultivate today. They haven't gone through the bottleneck breeding procedure, so they contain all the wild genetic traits that we might need now and in the future to produce new varieties to tackle against climate change. 80% of our calorie intake comes from just 12 main species. 50% of, of that calorie intake comes from just three species, wheat, maize and rice. 
If we lose one of those species, we need to be able to produce something else. We need the diversity of crops to have that insurance to be able to produce new varieties in areas where climate change is really affecting the current agricultural production systems. This is really crucial to tackling food security now and in the future.